Hi my honeys, Erica here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of a long time coming. I lost the footage for a while, but then I found it again. It is my lower level living room makeover. And I'm also missing just a little bit of footage in there. I did some beadboard behind my fireplace and got a new Samsung frame TV that looks like art when you're not watching. That's pretty much the only thing that's missing from this video. But I figured I would show you guys the rest because I really love how our lower living room turned out. It's such a cozy and elevated space with a few DIYs that I did in there. So I'm super excited about it. So that is the video for today. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And if you're not already, I post a ton on Instagram, on TikTok, and I'm gonna be trying to post more regular videos here on my page. So I would love it if you would join me. The other thing I wanna mention too is I started a new series on my Instagram and TikTok called Honey Help Me. Basically, I will answer your design questions for your own homes to see if I might be able to help you with your own space. All you have to do to submit for that is email me, honey help me, I'll put it on the screen, honey help me ph at gmail.com. Email me one singular photo of your space, a clear photo, and ask a very specific design question. Specific questions are like, what paint color should I do here? What should I hang above my sofa? What rug would you do in this space? What lighting would you do in this space? Things like that. Instead of just sending me a blank room and being like, I don't know what to do in here. That is a little bit more open-ended and I can promise you the questions that are easier for me to answer or more direct and specific are the ones that I'm going to be able to get to quickest. So that's gonna be ongoing. You can email me anytime. There's really no limit to how many times you can email me a question. Just know that I might not get to all of your questions at once. You know, I wanna try to spread it around, spread the love and um, answer as many people's design questions as I can. And then when I'm ever having like maybe a down health day or I just got some free time, I'll open up that email and I will go ahead and answer some of your questions on Instagram Reels and on TikTok. That's where you will see those. I might upload them to shorts here on YouTube as well. So without further ado, let us jump into the lower level living room makeover today. And I hope you guys love it so much. Here's the before of our lower level. I hated the orangey laminate floors, did not like the dark teal walls. It just was not my vibe. I wanted something more neutral. So the first thing we did was we went ahead and got the floors replaced. We decided to just go directly over our existing laminate floors with these wide plank Castilian engineered hardwood floors from Mulligan Flooring in the color Offshore Mist. I love this color and I stand by this flooring. It's such good quality. Then I decided to paint all of the walls Benjamin Moore black. I wanted a true black color. My only regret is not using flat paint. If I could go back, I would use flat because it covers a lot of more imperfections on the wall. Um, I did eggshell instead. Then I wanted to tile my fireplace. This was quite ambitious because I've never tiled anything before, but I found this stuff called muscle bound, which basically acts like a sticker, a very, sticky sticker where you can just stick your tiles right to it and grout so there's no thin set or anything like that that you have to put down so here i am measuring out and cutting the end tiles for my fireplace i was able to get a bunch of full tiles in there and only had to cut a few along the sides i did end up having to cut one with my jigsaw as well on either side but it wasn't too bad i used a diamond blade but here i am using the tile snapper all you do is put the tile in place where your mark is and then you just score across the tile over your mark and you just go back and forth. It honestly makes the worst sound ever. I muted it because it's like a really, like nails on chalkboard, but it works really well. And then you lower the bar down once you've scored it a few times and it snaps right in the spot, right along the line that you scored it. Now I'm just adding the tile to the wall and then it is time to grout. Honestly, I didn't find this part very hard at all. It was actually kind of rewarding and fun. You just wanna press the grout into the cracks. I'm using Prism brand, bright white. It really is not that bright of a white. It sorta of doesn't stand out at all, which is why I like it. 
Once you're done grouting everything, you're just gonna wash it down several times with a sponge to get all the excess grout off. You wash it one more time after 24 hours and ta-da, here's how it turned out. The tiles are so shiny and so beautiful. I'm super proud of myself on this one. Then it was time to swap out the lights above the bookcases. I really wanted some picture lights. I felt like it would be a nice touch and sort of transitional in the room. I found these battery ones from Amazon. Love a battery light because I can easily just take it off whenever I want and recharge it. So amazing. I also wanted to put a faux tree in the room. So I found this planter at Lowe's and decided to pot it to make it look more real. First, I'm just adding a bunch of things on the bottom to sort of add some height to the tree because I want it to be almost to the ceiling. And then I'm gonna use whatever I have lying around, just paper or packaging, bubble wrap, whatever, and just stuff the planter all the way around the base of the tree to keep it in place. Then I'm just gonna cover it with some moss just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And that's pretty much it on the plant. Then it was delivery time for our furniture. We got the Amber Swivel Boucle chairs and the Owen sofa, all from Castlery. They were so kind enough to send this furniture over and we love every single piece. It's all so incredibly comfortable. As you can see, the sofa came very well packaged. It took my husband a little bit of time to get it out of the box. I can't wait to show you what it looks like in this space, but we are just loving the sofa. It's honestly so comfortable. Then it was time for a little DIY coffee table. If you haven't seen the video of me DIYing this beautiful coffee table, check it out here. I just love how this table turned out. It's gonna look beautiful in my lower level space. I even built myself a little marble side table to match as well with the leftover tiles. Now who's ready for the reveal? Here's the room before and here's the room after. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video.